Hey guys, welcome back to Market News. Today we'll be working on harmonic analysis on ANSYS. This problem is based on harmonic analysis of a cantilever beam which has a length of 1 meter. One end is subjected to loading of 100 newtons in the minus y direction. Another end is fixed. The dimensions of the beam is 0.01 meters and 0.01 meters. The density is 7830 kg per meter cube. Click on file, clear and start new. Click on do not read file, ok. Click on yes. Preferences, structural, ok. Preprocessor, element type, add, edit, delete. Click on add. Click on uh, beam. Go down. Go to node 180. Click on ok. Close material property, material modes, or a structure, linear, elastic, isentropic, 210 power 11, 0 0.3. Click on OK. Now go to density 7830. Click on OK. Go to the sections, beam, common sections, section type, it's a rectangle or a square, it could be anything. Over here it's 0 0.01 and 0 0.01, so it's a square. Click on OK. Go to modeling, create, key points, inactive CS. First one would be 0, OK. Second one would be one okay lines lines straight line click on both the points okay go to meshing size control manual size go to lines pick lines pick the line Click on OK. Go to number of divisions, that's 100. Click on OK. Go to Mesh tool. Mesh. Click on the line. Click on OK. Now let's go to Solution. Analysis type. New analysis. Harmonic. Click on OK. Go to Load Step Output. Time Frequency. Frequency M subset 0 and that would be 100, down would be 100. Click on stepped, ok. Now go to define loads, apply st uh, structural, yeah, displacement on key point, ok. Go to all DOF, ok. Go to force and moment on key point, the last point. Okay, that's FY. Go to minus 100. Okay, now let's go to solve current LS. It's solved. Let's see what we have solved now. Yeah, it's done. Solution is obtained. Let's go to his time history. Post processor, let's, let's add data. Let's go to your solution. Y component of the displacement, okay. Click on the point, click on okay. Now get the graph for that. This is the graph for Y component at that particular point. Let's go to control chart, style, graphs, modify axis. Let's go to y axis, logarithmic. Okay. 
let's go to second one let's click on the graph oh there you got cloud let them make one thanks for watching guys we'll be back soon with other videos